Welcome Pisces to your monthly horoscope for June for the Sun or the Ascendant. If you've yet to subscribe to my channel, I'd be honoured if you did so now. Please click or tap on the bell notification symbol. We continue to be in challenging times and if you'd like to connect with me directly, you can do so on Twitter at Horoscope Ace. You'd be very welcome. Also, you can get your daily horoscope or subscribe to my monthly three astrology magazine by clicking the link beneath this video. Also, if you'd like to have a one-to-one, -one, please check out my testimonials underneath this video too. Now, your chart does have a lot about the long-term uh, cooking in it at the current time because your ruling planet Jupiter is alongside Pluto, but exactly so from the 22nd as they both retrace their steps. This retrograde could really be giving you a lot of food for thought about what you're wanting. And of course, not all of us can actually act out some of the desires we have because of the COVID-19 situation. In your particular locality, it may be a little bit more liberated than someone else's or vice versa. But I do feel that Jupiter and Pluto from the 22nd really ask you to come to terms with something that frees you up and liberates you to focus on that future more firmly. Now the Sun and Venus are really asking you also to look at your immediate environment. And along with the North Node, how are you feeling about where you live? Is it really making you feel comfortable? Do you feel at ease? Is it peaceful enough, tranquil enough? Do you like the de de decorative order of your home at the moment? If the answer to any of that is no, you may be thinking about how you can change things. And that's all part of that longer term plan that you may or may not be able to act out at this time. And of course, we have this spectacular two eclipses this month. On the 5th, the annular lunar eclipse occurs right at the top of your chart. It's going to be difficult to disguise your feelings about the things that are important to you. It's also squaring up to Mars and Neptune, your other ruler, that are in a conjunction through to the 18th in your sign. They can dim your energy down a little bit. Ordinarily, Mars in our own sign gives us loads of drive and enthusiasm, but the wet, cloying mist of Neptune could see you a bit demotivated, I feel, especially as they both square to the sun through to the 18th. The sun's in a tender part of your situation, with Venus retrograde in the fourth house and the north node there as well. You're wanting to set that longer term plan based on your emotional responses, I feel. And at the moment, there may be a lot that you just want to think through, process, let go, potentially. More brightly and outgoing, Mercury is in your sector of self-expression and your sister water sign of Cancer. And it's forging an ace link in the first 10 days with Uranus, the planet of innovation, in your third house. There can be some sparkling conversations and that feeds into that story about your long-term future. But Mercury goes retrograde from the 18th. And as you know, that can cause mix-ups, misunderstandings and delays. And it could be around your social situation, your love life, where things are in some ways uh, uh, treading water. You may not be getting quite the traction you want. But wait, the solar eclipse that occurs on the 21st follows the sun's ingress into Cancer on the 20th. And that's really going to give you a lot more desire to live out the more self-expressive side of your nature. But it's a solar eclipse that forges a quincunx with Saturn locked away in your 12th solar house. If there are inner blockages that you have that are stopping you going for more fulfillment around your love life, your ideas, anything to do with joys, then that's going to be a factor in the last six months of this year. But it's a choice on your part. Venus ends its retrograde on the 25th. If there has been some kind of 
news you've been waiting for about your property, about your home, or in a relationship with someone close to you in your family, that maybe there's been a slight distortion between you, then I think things can improve from here. And then Mars moves out of your sign on the 28th into Aries, where it will be through till January the 6th next year. This is an enormous transit. Normally Mars takes 60 days to work its way through each sign. And it is going to be going retrograde for 66 days from the 6th of September. But this is going to give you a lot more desire at a more practical level to improve your finance and the income. And if that's been hit by the challenges of COVID-19, you're given a wonderful asset here to fight back and get on the front foot. But also, with Jupiter and Pluto coming together exactly in that retrograde, as the month draws to a close, this is all about the long term. So whatever's going on at a more personal, private, sensitive or emotional level this month, and I think there can be some of this uh, unfolding for you, the future is starting to shape up for you, but I think it does mean moving away from past situations that haven't worked out well for you. It could be linked to a home, it could be a new change of scene, but that offers new opportunities to experience life in a different and fresh way. So there's so much to go for. If you'd like to check out that one-to-one -one reading with me, please do see those testimonials beneath. If you're learning more about astrology and want to go beyond your zodiac sign, check out my reports. You can order a 30% off combination of the character analysis and your 12-month forecast, again, beneath, uh, seeing beneath this video. But for now, stay safe, take care, and good luck, and goodbye.